Hello students, once again welcome back to biology class, myself Dr. Raghavendra here. In the earlier class we discussed a few important introductory points related with the class mammalia and we discussed about one important example also the spiny anteater it is also called the echidna and the peculiarity of the animal what we discussed the hairs are modified into spines and then the animal is a pentadactyl, still it retains certain bird characters such as presence of the spur in the males. And then we also discussed about yes, it is a egg laying mammal. So it comes under mainly the subclass of Prototheria. Fine. So today let us understand some more important examples such as duck billed platypus, Ornithorhynchus, what we call it as. In the duck billed platypus, so the duck build why it's called so because the animal platypus exhibits lots of bird like features what are those to say it has mainly the beak like the jaws modified into beak like structure so yes this is a duck build what we said and then it exhibit so the structure of the snout will be like this and then it's the face it has the eyes so looks very nice and then it has its body fine and then so the animal is basically found to be semi-aquatic yes it is seen in a condition where more water availability is there and then the animal has what we can say mainly the fore limb as well as the hind limb well developed and this also exhibits certain bird like features so we will discuss what are those bird like features as such they exhibit so it has again what we say the pentadactyl condition for your digits yes it exhibit so and also all the digits are with the claws so this is the third and then here is the fifth digit so all the digits are with the claws most importantly yes it has been seen in very in the close vicinity of the water so it has got what we say mainly the foot web so it has got mainly the foot web that helps in better locomotion or swimming. So it is seen in the mainly vicinity of or where are the more water available. Fine. So this is what we are observing mainly the animal body look like this and they do have what we can say nostrils here and paddle like tail and hind limb yes we can say that hind limb are well developed so hind limbs are better or strong also and so here hind limb also exhibit the presence of a pentadactyl condition with the claws yes yes here and in between the digits it has the foot web so the body is in fact covered with the hairs body is covered with the hairs to tell you most important and peculiar characters so the duck bill like beak what it exhibit so it exhibits the presence of nostrils and then yes we can say that the pentadactyl pentadactyl limbs and then they exhibit presence of foot web okay they do have the spur a defensive structure and then so presence of eyes photosensitive then ear we can say they have small size ear pinna. Yes. Then the tail is the flat, paddle like, flat, paddle like, 
पैडल लाइक टेल ओके हेल्प्स इन स्विमिंग एंड दीज आर मेनली द यग लेइंग मैमल यग लेइंग एंड सेमी एक्वाटिक so for the sake of food it go to the water so here what you are observing basically this is also kind of a burrowing animal only and or it is mainly seen in the close vicinity of the water and it retains the bird like a beak so they all comes under protocerians or egg laying mammal and then they do have the ear pinna body is covered with the hairs and then the Uh, mainly the limbs are with the claws and in between the digits we can find the presence of the foot web that help in better swimming and then these are basically having bird like spur in the cock or in the peacock in the male birds we have seen presence of the spur so spur is a defensive structure which is a sharp dagger like structure and then there are pentatactiles and uh, the tail is uh, the flat paddle like when it is swimming in the water yes it beat the water and also it swim with the uh, in the water by using its foot web and easily float in the water so thus it is well adapted for a semi aquatic mode of life and most of the time they are mainly the nocturnal and then yes they are the egg laying mammal so this is what we talk about mainly duck billed platypus and here peculiarity of this presence of a duck bill or the beak like structure the ear pinna not well developed and then they do have the pentadactyle but presence of the the foot web we can say that better swimming and then paddle like or flat tail what they have the entire body covered with the hair usually they lay the egg they incubate the egg and then the young one comes out so development is direct no any indirect mechanism they do have better copulatory structure so fertilization will be definitely internal so this is all about what we discussed mainly related with what we can say it is about the duck billed platypus well the next animal yes we need to understand we need to discuss what is the next animal we are going to discuss he is about the most important what we call it as the animal as such it is kangaroo so kangaroo comes under which class kangaroo comes under the class what we called as a metatherians metatherians means a pouched mammal so we are going to discuss about uh, regarding the kangaroo also fine so here what is the peculiarity of the kangaroo yes let us discuss the peculiarity of the kangaroo and all the mammals they exhibit most important feature what is that the mammal exhibit better parental care so when we talk about mainly the macrophus or the kangaroo kangaroo where we can find they are mainly seen in australia well kangaroo exhibit a variety of a peculiar features let me just mention over here so kangaroo having its mouth upper jaw as well as the lower jaw yes they do have the nostrils and then around the nostrils we can find the presence of hair and then kangaroos exhibit well developed what we can say the ear pinna so kangaroos exhibit mainly well developed ear pinna yes here what we are finding presence of uh, eyes well with the eyelashes also we can find yes so it is mainly better i have to make a single eye because the other eye is that side so this side the eye is yes well appearing and then yes kangaroo face will be somewhat like this only so please you need to believe this in fact okay so here it has what we can say the neck and then the body and as such what we find in case of the kangaroo they do have very strong the tail 
tail is a slightly massive and strong tail that helps in what we can say jumping also and also stores some good amount of fat which act as, as a reserve food material there hind limbs are strong enough you can say that so hind limbs are strong enough and here they exhibit the presence of the brood pouch and what we see basically their four limbs are not much strong like that of the hind limbs okay so the hind limbs are much stronger and here we find the young one so young one is inside mother's brood pouch and always finding or peeping outside what is available okay so this is the young one and let me mention here yes they do have mainly the pentadactylus mainly the limbs 2 3 4 and 5 here also 1 2 3 4 and 5 so all the five digits are with the claws and then you can find here 1 2 3 4 and 5 yes so 1 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 so this is what you are observing mainly the kangaroo let me just mention a few important peculiar features of this mammal what you are observing here so kangaroo as such I don't think that i have drawn a rat it is actually the kangaroo you need to believe fine so kangaroo we can say that short four limbs short four limbs then the strong hind limbs hind limbs what you are observing here the young one in brood pouch okay yes and then what you are finding mainly the presence of ear pinna ear pinna yes and then the nostril then eyes so they do have the eyes nostrils we can say and then yes strong we can say that strong tail that sometimes act as a reserve of the energy and then yes entire body covered with okay yes body covered with the hairs covered with hairs to say peculiarity or speciality of this mammal so what you are observing the mammal may be resident of australia they are having the brood pouch they are having the strong tail hind limbs are very strong and they are mainly exhibiting the best bipedal locomotion means they exhibit bipedal because they use their hind limbs very well and they keep on leaping or jumping so we can say that what are the peculiarities peculiarities yes as we uh, list out mainly they exhibit bipedal locomotion okay they have the brood pouch okay one more important character males have mainly double penis so males with double penis males with double penis and then what about the females yes the females will have triple vagina so females exhibit mainly triple vagina in that two they use for copulation and one is meant for the parturition well so other than that yes they have the strong tail fine and then that act as a reserve for the energy it stores the energy and massive tail sometime act as a, the fifth limb so the strong tail act as a strong tail act as a fifth leg so thus they take the support of this strong tail and they keep on leaping or jumping and then and they are mainly standing somewhere yes they will use their tail as a support so 
these are all the peculiarity of this uh, what we can say prototherian or pouched mammal kangaroo is a yes we can say that pouched pouched mammal so one most important thing is it delivers under developed immature embryonic stage like that of the uh, helpless red color okay the young one so even it has not opened its eyes not proper developed limbs also it delivers so from third vagina yes it delivers the young one that keep on crawling and then yes it uh, go and stay inside the brood pouch so there it has the teats or it has the milk glands open and then it uh, mainly keep on sucking those teats or it is utilizes the nutrition over there and survives keep on growing once it grow properly yes then it will be moving out so this is what we can say delivers the under developed young one so and nourishes the young one in the brood pouch so the other peculiarity we can say that uh, yes delivers delivers under developed under developed young one and nourishes in brood pouch brood pouch so these are few important peculiarities of the kangaroo as such what we can find so this is a typical example that comes under what we can say yes it comes under mainly the sub class prototherians or pouched mammals so like this number of other examples also we can find mainly it may be the koala or it may be the wombat it may be the flying phalanger many more marsupials yes we can find it i hope you got a better idea that uh, regarding the kangaroo yes they exhibit best bipedal locomotion they are jumping or hopping they use their the uh, tail as a fifth leg for support which is strong enough uh, and then its hind limbs are strong having the brood pouch having the entire body covered with the hairs nostrils ears you know all that is fine so this is all about uh, what we have seen regarding the kangaroo well we discussed about mainly the spiny and inter echidna we discussed about the platypus we discussed about now regarding the peculiarities and structural details of the kangaroo so let us go ahead with the next example what is that the next example we are going to discuss is all about the bat so we will be studying about the bat now fine so i hope you people have got clarity about this fine the next animal we are going to study it's all about mainly the bat so bat as such we can say that it is nocturnal by nature they can be vampire bats also they can be frugivores also fruit eaters also fine they also exhibit lots of speciality or peculiarity in their structure so we are going to discuss all those peculiar special features of those mainly so we are going to study about now the next example is regarding the bat so bat is also called as chiroptera that comes under chiroptera we say means they are the fruit eaters so frugivores what we say so these fruit well let me continue here so we will be studying about mainly the bat so macrophus what we discussed it's all about the kangaroo the bat so chiroptera we can say and these are mainly nocturnal it has lots of important what you can say peculiarities we will discuss so when we talk about the bat as such so most of uh, you will be having certain imagination about the bat because the people are very much uh, fond of uh, the cartoon as such batman okay well let us discuss about what the bat look like its uh, peculiarities okay so let us discuss about the bat so as such the bat exhibit uh, 
इट्स एयर पिना एंड दे आर मेनली द डार्क लिविंग एनिमल्स वर यू कैन सी यस द बैट्स आर मेनली द डार्क बिकॉज दे आर वेरी एक्टिव इन द नाइट एंड दे आल्सो फाउंड इन द डार्क केव्स यू माइट हैव बीन सीन ओके सो दे आर सीन इन द डार्क केव्स एंड देन यस दे एग्जिबिट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द नॉस्ट्रिल्स हियर and then the mouth so bat yes the bat has the mouth and let us see the type of eyes so i hope you can do better than my diagram so do properly because we are going to discuss most important peculiar characters so don't think that i am drawing any alien it is just a bat only i am drawing so here this is the bat yes what are the important features of the bat let us understand one by one okay well so this is the bat face what i have done and generally the bat has its slender body only and usually they found to be hanging up and down so this is the bat body as such so it can be a little bit neat also well it's not coming up that perfectly fine now this is quite okay well the bat also they have what we can say short tail so bats have the short tail yes and then bats exhibit basically what i can say that they have their arm or the four limb modified like this so four limbs exhibit mainly presence of the first claw here they have the first claw okay then this is the second digit exhibiting the second claw okay so here this is the first and the second the first and the second what you are observing well i hope you are able to see this clearly and then yes so here it exhibit the third yes digit then it exhibit the fourth digit here then it's the fifth digit is here similarly yes this is the third fourth and fifth digit so from the first second is already done now this is the third okay so here it is the fourth well so next it is the fifth digit yes so they exhibit the presence of thin membranous skin okay in between the digits fine they exhibit the presence of a thin membranous skin in between the digits we call it as a petargium okay so this is what you are observing mainly the bat so bat are basically nocturnal by nature what do you mean by nocturnal they are active in the night so here what you are observing the leg of the bat so here is the leg of the bat and the legs are basically pentadactyl 1 2 3 4 and the 5 so here 1 2 3 and 4 and the 5 so this is 
what you are observing, whatever possible, I have tried in a better way to make a diagram that can be representing very well the structure of the bat. So let me mention here what actually the bats. So yeah, the exhibit mainly the ear pinna, ear pinna, then well developed, not well developed eyes. In fact, these are mainly the claws and the digits. We can say digits and this thin fold of skin we call it as the patagium okay the fold of skin okay act as act as a wing now okay then the pentadactylus hind limbs pentadactylus hind limbs hind limbs and then yes what we are observing yes it is the tail okay the body they do have the nostrils okay yes what are the peculiarities as such if we list out in this animal the bat are nocturnal and they are mainly active in the night because they have the ability to produce the what we can say uh, the echolocation as such they produce ultrasonic sound the mainly the sound they produce it hit the any obstacle uh, returns back and the ear are very sensitive they perceive it and suddenly they change their direction of flying so thus even though there is a dark night no light but the uh, flight has a very perfectness so here when we talk about mainly the peculiarity of these animals they have the fold of skin found in between the digits and the four limbs are modified into wing and these animals show a very good and active flight not, not only gliding but also they are having very good active flight so to say that peculiarities to enlist peculiarities of this animal mainly number one nocturnal nocturnal Second, four limb, four limbs modified, modified for active flight, for active flight. Number three, they exhibit echolocation by ultrasonic, ultrasonic sound production, sound production. Okay, number four, we can say that they are most of the time hanging up and down well. So, here we can say that mainly hind limbs, hind limbs, poorly developed, poorly developed, but used for hanging, hanging the body. Okay. And then we can say that they do have the better nostrils and most of the bats, so they are fungivores, fungivores or sanguivores, sanguivores means they are mainly exhibiting very much evident parental care, best parental care they exhibit, exhibit parental care well parental care very well okay so here what we are observing the first digit second are short enough but the third fourth fifth onwards they are long digits in between the digits yes they do have what we can say that mainly this fold of skin which is called the patagium okay they use it for the flight this is all about the bat what we have discussed so in the next class yes we will discuss about certain mainly the mammals which are known to found in the water okay so then again we will discuss about the general characters and the unique characters also of these mammals well so i hope you got a clarity about the structural details of the bat the animal bat exhibit mainly 
प्रेजेंस ऑफ एयर बिना आईज और नॉस्ट्रिल्स एयर आर वेरी सेंसिटिव फॉर द अल्ट्रासाउंड साउंड प्रोडक्शन एंड दैट हेल्प्स इन द नाइट फॉर बेटर एकोलोकेशन सो यू नीड टू रिमेंबर दिस वर्ड एकोलोकेशन एंड देन सक्सेस आर सेपरेट हियर एंड दे एग्जिबिट बेटर पेरेंटल केयर सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द क्लास एंड इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास यस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस some more important features of remaining mammal till then take care study well thank you very much